Most people would probably say that iRacing is a serious simulator with better racing and more respect between drivers. But let's reflect a little bit on that. Gran Turismo is a game. It's widely accessible to various players of all ages. So of course there will be a bigger chance of finding drivers who don't care too much about sportsmanship just because they were not introduced to racing etiquette yet. iRacing is more expensive with a steeper learning curve and because of that the rookie level is already a little bit more educated and respectful. But we can find the same pattern in both platforms. As the level of driving and experience rises, so does the level of racing. Give enough time and growth to whatever you're racing and you will find better competitors and better racing. You'll definitely find people complaining about racing both Gran Turismo 7 and iRacing, just because there are humans involved. This is simply the nature of the sport, especially when there aren't any bad consequences with crashes if you compare to real life, for example.